Welcome to World Breaker Coo's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Koo, and today we're looking at Myra McTaggart. All right, she's a very important character to the X Men mythos. Perhaps one of the most important, period, now. Um, this is her Marvel Legends look that she comes with in the package, I believe. And most people are probably be confused about why she looks like this. Well, if you look on the back of this, that's how she looked. She had several different looks, too. That You see Apocalypse right there. She's had so many looks in this series. I'm shocked they just went with that one. Um, it would have been cooler to get the Apocalypse version. But let me first by just telling you a little bit about Myra. She is the, she's very important because for years, no one knew she was a mutant. I mean, Brian Hickman just introduced this to us, but she's a mutant. And her mutant power is reincarnation. She has been born over and over and over. And without ruining uh, House of X and Powers of X, that's a huge reason why she keeps reincarnating. I don't want to spoil it because I want you to see it or read it. Great story. So, in either case, very important character. You had to get this figure. Um, she has a lab coat uh, and an extra head and a book that came with this. I love this look, by the way. Um, and again, they could have gave us something like this if they really wanted to as well. Who knows? Maybe down in the future we'll, we'll get something like that. But um, the thing is, um, I think she only has so many lives. So let me, let me, let me talk about all this. So regardless, this is a this is a good reuse of a figure. This is just the Gwen Stacy figure. That's all this is. Um, just different paint. Um, if you don't believe me, I made a second one of these. So like, like I said, it came with uh, arms for a lab coat and an extra uh, head. Uh, made some extra pair of hands, um, which were fist hands. This is a Gwen Stacy hand. I literally took an extra Gwen Stacy I found on clearance. And I kit bashed this Myra. Now, why did I do that? Simple enough. I wanted to um, showcase her on um, my X Men 90 shelf because, for the most part, she was like this in the 90s. So that's why I did that. And then I don't have to keep going back and forth. I can have one for modern shelf, one for the classic. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do. But this is what she comes with. She comes with two pairs of or or hands or arms. She comes with some fists, which I'm not going to show you because they're, they're fists. And she comes with this nice, nice book. You know, we've seen this with Gwen Stacy before, too. I think it's at Midtown Eye or something like that. But it did a good, good job on her glasses. I mean, that's really, really well done. I applaud them for that. Um, it seems like, for some reason, Hasbro is just getting glasses now. Um, they didn't get it right with Peter Parker Retro. But if you see Baroness... You can see they're kind of really getting better and better with these. Um, I kind of want to make a get another one of these and make a a, a scientist for for Cobra. That'd be awesome, you know. Or you know, use a different head and just have another random scientist somewhere, maybe for AIM. But regardless, you see, there's two great heads um, that you get with these figures. Um, I like the shading in the brown. Well, not so much there. Actually, no, there's no shading. My bad. But you can see the, the, the similarities with the bodies. The same skirt piece, just different color. Same pleated leather or, or, or sweater. Except these, sweater, these shoulders here look really bulky. Um, if you are going to try kit bashing, I just recommend that you do heat these the, the old arms, the green ones up that came with Gwen, Gwen Stacy. Because they're very hard to get off. Um, I had to make sure I applied heat to get these in as well. And they are just a little bit loose since I've done that. Um, so there's that, but at the, at the end of the day, she's not going to be carrying a weapon or anything like that. So this is perfectly fine to be on my shelf, uh, somewhere and, and showcasing her, uh, Myra self, but that's all I have. Um, these are the only figures I have like this. Um, so there's not much to compare, but I would have to give her out of 10. I say they knocked it out the park with this one. I would give it a nine out of 10. The only thing that stops this from being a perfect 10 for a Myra character 
is, I don't know, maybe some beakers or whatnot. Or, um, here's a simple hint. This, um, these, these joints here, mine, were stuck together. I had to heat these to get them to move at all. Otherwise, it was bending the, the peg. So be very careful um, with that. But until next time, peace and until all in one.